Hi guys and welcome back to the Craft Beer Channel. Now recently we added a load of beer heroes to our world and Brad's about to meet one of his pizza heroes. Yeah, if there's one thing I love maybe more than beer, That's scandalous, <laughs> is pizza. And uh, one of my ultimate pizza heroes, Frank Pinello, all the way from Brooklyn, he's in London for some reason. Good he Lord. Why is he here? He's with Yard Cell Pizza. And we have been invited to go make his signature white pizza? White pizza. And it's match legit. It with amazing beer. Let's give it a go. Let's do it. He always does that. Frank Pinello is one of the world's greatest pizza chefs, as well as the host of the awesome pizza show on Munchies. If you don't know it, his passion and expertise are second to none, and as absolute nerds about a tiny foodie niche too, we respect that hugely. When Brad found out he was making his pizzeria's signature pie at yard sale, we simply had to try to share one with him. And surprisingly, he was well up for it. Frank, man, it's great to meet you. Thank you, thanks for having me. Yeah. And Nick as well, thanks really for having nice us to today, you. man. Thanks for coming down. Yeah, we're down at Yard Cell Pizza in Leonstone. It's a beautiful sunny day. We've got Mad Frank, Frank Pinello, all the way from Brooklyn here. Pizza legend, best pizza, literally and figuratively, potentially. Uh, so what we're doing, we're down here, we're gonna make your special pie. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, featuring the white pie down here at Yard Cell while I'm here in London. Um, it's a big hit in Brooklyn. Uh, it's kind of got sesame seeds around uh, the outside of the crust, which makes it a little unique. Yeah. We've got the cheese, caramelized onions. We finish it off with some pecorino and some parsley on top. So I know you guys have some interest in beers uh, to pair it up with. So yeah, dude. I'm ready to get drinking. Let's do it. <laughs> so what, what different size pies do you guys make? So we do 12 inch and 18 inch. Wow. Uh, so the 18 inch like the homage to like the New York slice. Yeah man. That's why we do it. And uh, how long is the dough proof for? So, it's like a minimum of 24 hours. Yeah. We do 24 to like 72 hours. Sweet. Yeah. 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 Ye
people think it's not pizza, which is obviously crazy, but... Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you. Um, yeah. I, I know we had a little bit of, of some surprise guests when they came here and they weren't used to uh, the white pizza. This style of white pizza, I wouldn't say is traditional, yeah. but a white pizza at pizzerias in New York is very traditional. It's not weird to go yes. in and just see a rigotta high, yes. you know, or a pizza that just has, um, you know, uh, quattro formaggio, like just cheese on it. So this is our play on that white pie. We kicked it up a notch. I'm Sicilian, so that's where the sesame seeds came in. You see it a lot, Sicilian baking. And uh, of course the caramelized onions is another another big um, ingredient in the Sfinzioni and, and Sicilian pizza as well. Beautiful, huh? The onions, we just kind of low and slow. We don't add anything to them, just get them nice and caramelized. Kind of follow um, the dollops of rigotta with, with these onions. So, you know, everyone, Every bite you get, you get a little bit of everything. It's all about distribution. It's all about distribution, my friend. <laughs> as you guys know in the beer business. Exactly. <laughs> and if, uh, what's your like vision for the future of pizza? If that's not too giant the question. Yeah, no, no. Um, I think that's a very good question. I think, I think the, the vision for the future is that the rest of the world sort of um, continues to, to carry on with the, um, the sort of... Uh, the fever pitch where pizza's at right now, you know, in America it's this it's this uh, culture that's unreal and when you when you put up an ad in New York for a pizza man, twenty guys will walk in that know how to make pizza. Wow. But if you're in LA it's it's not quite there yet. You yeah, know? okay. So but it's growing and it's growing and growing. You come to a place like London and you see how the pizza scene is bubbling and the same thing is happening in Japan, same thing is happening in Paris. Um, I think pizza's getting more regionalized in America and I think eventually you know, there's a Napoli style pizza, there's a, a Sicilian style pizza, a Roman style pizza, yeah. maybe one day there'll be a Japanese style pizza as yeah. well. You know? And they all have their place, there shouldn't be like a death match. Nothing's better than the other, it's all about it's where, it's come, where you're coming from. Hey, you know, in this game, in food, it's all love. All, all we want to do is see people succeed and, you know, all, all boats rise with the tide, so the more great pizzerias there are, the better it is for the culture. Increase the peace. That's it, baby. But we're gonna finish here with a nice, generous amount of olive oil. Because, you know, there's some crust show in there, so we want to make sure everything gets cooked up properly, nice and golden. That's a bit sketchy doing that. If I can stand here, the lens is standing. That's closer than you are, dude. But they're vice when I'm doing that, are they? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> right now we kind of just finish it off with some raw pecorino, not too much. And, and to keep things nice and fresh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and this really, you know, visually it makes it pop, but it also adds a nice, uh, a nice touch to, to the palate. That's beautiful. Yeah, it comes out nice. So is the, is the sesame a bit like, um, like it's just the, you guys, I've, I've seen before you put uh, breadcrumbs on. Pizza. Yeah, yeah. Is that the same sort of vibe to get that mouthfeel? You know what? Um, the, the breadcrumbs is definitely a Sicilian specialty, you know, right. very, very, very uh, poor area of, uh, of Italy and, you know, instead of putting cheese on top, they put breadcrumbs. The, the, the sesame seeds, I think, is a little bit more kind of um, attributed to, like, Sicilian baking, you know, oh, yeah. when okay. you see loaves of bread and you see those big semolina rolls with tons of sesame seeds on top, and I think that's, that's really what I was going for, was kind of that that food memory that many of us have from growing up when you eat a loaf of Italian bread and yeah. you got those sesame seeds and that kind of nutty, yeah, that nutty smell, that nutty aroma and taste. So. so for you this is like a shortcut back to childhood. Absolutely. Amazing. Absolutely. The onions and the uh, sesame seeds remind me of my grandmother every time I eat it. So well, it's, it's, it's nice in that way. about cool down so we need to eat before the pizza does yes uh, thanks so much for having us talk us through this one more time and I'm gonna talk you through this beer that we've got yeah so um, the white pizza is basically caramelized onions 
uh, ricotta cheese, uh, some pecorino cheese, and uh, parsley finished on top. And really the signature is, is the sesame seeds that are around the crust. Okay, mm. so what I thought, I have not had this pizza, so my thinking was, we've got lots of creamy cheese on there, we've got some sweetness uh, from the caramelized onion, and we've got some kind of uh, nuttiness, saltiness, pecorino, sesame. Yeah. So what I thought would be awesome is a gosa, which is a German style. Uh, it's, it used to be made with salt water, but now we just salt it. Oh wow. Uh, it's got preserved lemons in it, uh, which were made at the brewery at Wild Beer Co. And then it's still got a little bit of sweetness to it. Thanks, man. I like these little tiny cups. Yeah, Very it's sensible. fun, aren't they? Shot glasses. This is unusual so cheery, for the drink, craft beer channel, man. You drink a lot of beer with <laughs> cups this size, right? <laughs> so, cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Salud. Cheers. Salud. Oh wow, it's an interesting beer. So it's also made with, uh, it's got lactobacillus in it, which sours it, mm -hmm. so it's the like, yogurt culture. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I believe, like probably Wild Beers has yeast, there's a bit of wildness in there as well. Yeah. You talked about playing with wild yeast in pizza, which was I've yeah. never heard of. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know how the yeast strands will affect beer, it's the same with making pizza dough. Uh, if you get, get your hands on some cool wild yeast, or if you're able to kind of make your own starter in, in the pizzeria like we did, um, it always helps to add a little more complexity to the, to the flavor of the dough. Yeah. Cool, well let's see if we add some complexity to this dough with this. Top us up, Johnny. Oh, what? Well, you just, you just nailed yeah, it. Yeah, we need some more, man. It's pretty good <laughs> stuff. Pizza and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, in, in New York, the idea is if you, oops, <laughs> if you fold it, that, that pizza should be able to stand straight out. This one's a little top heavy, <laughs> yeah, so we'll you know, we'll flip them right in, Napoli style. Yes. Actually, that is so good. Mm. Frank, you're a genius. <laughs> I think it goes well. It really works, doesn't it? It cuts right through. Like if you have a, a lager or something, it will wash it away. But that, that little, little bit of lemony yeah. sweetness, mm -hmm. yeah, just really sings. And there's loads of lemon in that ricotta as well. Yeah, just bring it out. That's really nice. Yep, for sure. And uh, the sweet onions, you know, you get a big bite of those and you wash it down with this guy. That's nice. I mean, this could almost pass for a cider or, or a sparkling yeah, wine. Yeah, it's really gross. Cool. Yeah, natural wine, something like that. Yeah, amazing. I've never tasted a beer like this. It's really, really different. Also, I've never tasted a pizza like that. Cool. Like, I, I once did a tweet thinking I was being really funny, going, uh, in hell, all pizzas are white pizzas. Oh! And you've changed my mind. I love that. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So thank you so much for opening my eyes to, to white pizza. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, at first it seemed like a lot of people in London weren't about the white pizza. They didn't want pizza without tomato sauce on it. No. And I love pizza with tomato sauce too. Marinara is probably my favorite pizza, but you know, this white pizza was something different and something that really worked that best. And it's nice to bring all over here and it's been well received so far. Frank, thank, thanks so much for seeing oh us, guys. guys. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, man. Check out uh, Frank's show uh, on Vice and check out the Craft Beer channel. Subscribe and uh, eat white pizza. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and drink crazy beer. <laughs>